Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay and this is UCR Arts for Kids. In this series we learn about the history of photography and do activities together. Today we're outside because we're going to talk about a photographic process that uses ultraviolet light, also known as sunlight. This type of photography is called a cyanotype. Then you're going to create your own cyanotype by using sunprint paper or construction paper that you might already have at home. Cyanotypes are one of the earliest photographic processes, and they are called cyanotype because cyan is a greenish-blue color. The cyanotype process was discovered by an English scientist and astronomer named Sir John Herschel in 1842, and he mainly used it as a way to make copies of his notes and diagrams. This also became known as the blueprint, and was used by architects, builders, and more for decades later to copy technical drawings. The cyanotype process was taken a step further by Anna Atkins, a botanist and one of the first woman photographers. She used the cyanotype to create photograms. A photogram is an image made without a camera by placing objects directly on light-sensitized paper and exposing it to the light. When the objects are removed, a silhouette of the object is left on the paper. A silhouette means an outline of an object. Since Atkins was a botanist, she used this process to record plants she was studying, like this one in the UCR Arts Collection. Now you are going to create your own photogram using the cyanotype process. You can do this by ordering sunprint paper, or even just by using construction paper. First, take your paper outside and choose a few objects you want to add to your photogram. You can choose plants, small toys, or anything you think will make an interesting shape. You can still do this project if it's cloudy. It might just take a little longer. Lay your objects on the paper in any arrangement you choose. If you are using sun paper, it will come with an acrylic sheet that you can place over flat objects to keep them in place. If you don't have a piece of acrylic, you can just place rocks in the corners to weigh down the paper and on plants to keep them from moving. The sun paper only needs to be in the sun for about one to three minutes until it turns almost white. The construction paper typically needs to be in the sun for one to two hours. Then you'll see a silhouette of your objects. With the sun paper, there is one extra step. You'll need to rinse it in cold water for one minute and then lay it flat to dry. Here are my finished photograms. As you can see here, pretty much any color construction paper will work for a photogram. Now you have your own photogram that you created by using the cyanotype process. Be sure to post a picture of your photogram and tag UCR Arts to be featured on social media. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.